Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a weird video. Um, the first part about what I'm talking about, I just want to go ahead and say it's satire. It's a joke. I don't actually believe what I'm going to be talking about, but for the sake of what I'm talking about, I have to get rid of the, the silly part first. So let's just get into the silly part first. Diablo Cody. Do you know the name Diablo Cody? She's a filmmaker. She won an Oscar for screenwriting for Juno about, you know, a few decades ago, Michael Sarah, Elliot Page, that whole thing. Um, Diablo Cody. I want to talk about that person as more of an archetype than an actual person, because if you look at Diablo Cody, she's a filmmaker, screenwriter, director. She's got a career. It's her own. It's not Quentin Tarantino. It's not Steven Spielberg. She's just kind of doing her own thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think uh, Juno still remains one of the best written things I've seen in a very, very long time. And nobody can take that away from her, but she's not making giant James Cameron style blockbusters. She's doing her own thing. I liked Jennifer's body. I liked uh, young adults. Every time she, you know, she comes out with another movie, I'm excited to see it because I like her, I like her style of, of storytelling, but it's not, it's not, you know, changing the, changing the world in a way, a giant, you know, blockbuster has the ability to. Going up through the industry, because I've worked in a bunch of different places, uh, be it uh, reality cooking shows on one end and, you know, hoity-toity, we only make Oscar-worthy movies on the other end, uh, and, and all the spectrum between, they all had their own thing that they focused on. They all, you know, they all their priorities, their networks, their whole thing, uh, you know, from game shows to TV to, again, the hoity-toityest of the hoity-toities. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, but they all seem to hold a candle for this uh, Diablo Cody type. And so not Diablo Cody specifically, because again, she's a known quantity. Uh, you know, to oversimplify Diablo Cody's thing is an overnight success, even though we know there's no such thing as an overnight success. Obviously she had a blog that she, she parlayed into something else, and then she parlayed into writing Juno and then uh, won an Oscar. Um, but the sort of the, the social narrative, at least that I was exposed to from, you know, different directions was came out of nowhere, came out of the Midwest, was a unique person, very attractive, but had a unique look. I think in 2023, her look is not so unique, but you know, back when this was relevant, she looked unique. You could look across the room and she would look different. Um, and then she was a stripper. I know that uh, ruins it and undermines the whole thing and is mostly why I don't believe in what I'm talking about right now, but the stripper thing came up early and often. I think she's done a really good job in her career to sort of cut against that whole, I was a stripper and now I'm a screenwriter narrative, but yeah, it's a thing. Um, it's a, it's a shorthand. It's, it doesn't even mean, it doesn't even mean stripper. It just means she had a unique something, but everybody seems to want to get, want to be the person that says that I found the next, uh, Diablo Cody. As I'm thinking about it, I think there's a few examples of who could be Diablo Cody for different periods of time. So I'm gonna go through that. This is not a comprehensive list. This is just me spitballing. Lena Dunham, creator of girls, not my cup of tea. Never has been, never will be. I would argue most of her goodwill has dried up post girls just because she keeps talking. A more uh, pertinent example, I think, Joey Soloway, uh, transparent fame. Uh, do I need to say more? I don't know. If you haven't heard of Joey Soloway, uh, I think they match enough the, the, you know, Diablo Cody of it all. And then, and then more, more recently, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. I'm a huge fan of Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Uh, I like her. I'm excited about the Indiana Jones movie as a consequence, even though the last Indiana Jones movie broke me. Yeah. So there have been, there have been sort of examples of a Diablo Cody type. And again, if you, if you take a picture of all these, uh, people, they're not, they're not as different as they are similar, but again, this is all, this is all stuff I don't really believe in, except now here's me being done with the not believing it part and the part that I actually do believe in. I think there's a person out there that is becoming famous now. Um, I found her on Taskmaster. She's a stand-up comedian from Scotland. Uh, Fern Brady, if you, if you know that name, Fern Brady, uh, stand-up comedian, hilarious. And I, again, I saw her on Taskmaster and the more I dug in, you know, to figure out more about her, the more fascinated I was by her. She's wild. She was a stripper. Coincidences being what they are. Diablo Cody was a stripper in the cool, in the cool way that kind of only exists in really specific ways. Fern Brady, also a stripper for kind of the same reasons, but also different reasons. As much as I don't believe in sort of the archetype of the Diablo Cody, especially when it comes to the fact that again, Diablo Cody has had a totally fine career, but she hasn't had the blockbuster wild career that some other filmmakers that I refuse to name have. Um, I'm talking about the 
the drumming guy specifically. Um, but she's had a fine career. At the risk of endorsing this totally broken, bad idea that is trying to find the next Diablo Cody, Fern Brady, uh, big fan, looking forward to what her career you know brings. I hope she comes stateside because I think she could have a monster career in uh, film and television. And short of that, she's already a, an established stand-up comedian. I couldn't figure out a better way to describe uh, Fern Brady in, uh, unless I compared her to the bad Diablo Cody idea that in no way references Diablo Cody, ultimately. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Was this even a good use of anybody's time? I just kind of badly rambled through this, but uh, like, share, subscribe, catch you next time.